guys, King Pops here, and as you guys can see here, I'm actually playing Diddy Kong on my iPad using this emulator. I'm going to show you guys how to get this, and as you guys can see, I'm using my PS3 controller as well too, to control. As you guys can see, X is the jump. So, this is pretty easy, as you guys would know, and it is completely free, guys. And let's really get on to the tutorial. Damn. So, you will need, obviously, you will need a jailbroken device. You must have Cydia. You must have iFile. Now, the first thing we are going to do, first step, number one, we're going to go into Cydia. Okay, and guys, we are in Cydia right now. And the first thing you're going to need to download is the emulator. So, the, the name of this emulator is... It's actually called this. It's this. Just type in this and it should automatically pop up. No sources to add whatsoever. And it is compatible with iPads and etc. It is free in the Big Boss repo. I already installed it, obviously. And I'm good with that. Once you install that, guys, um, you will need to install iFile as well too I file you'll need to install that I think it is actually free but if it if it isn't there's also cracked versions of it too I would probably have some sources in the description though if it isn't free or something like that or it's probably like a licensed version or something but you would the second thing you need to have is I files ROMs very very obvious you will need ROMs um, so what I like to go to is coolroms.com ROMs alright I'm on coolroms.com and if you didn't understand or if you want another emulator besides the Super Nintendo you can actually see the other emulators for iOS like Game Boy, um, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo, Main, Nintendo 64, etc. etc. But this video we're talking about Super Nintendo. I can't even zoom in. But let's get on to the ROMs. Click on ROM files. You go down to Super Nintendo or whatever emulator you guys got for your iPad or iDevice. And you download anything you want, any game that you want, and they all for free. So, what's a game that I don't have? I, I don't have Mortal Kombat, so let's give Mortal Kombat a try. Oh, this is Mortal Kombat 3. I like Ultimate Mortal Kombat because they have Scorpion. I don't know. Did you guys know Mortal Kombat 3 do not have Scorpion? Which is very, very odd that they don't have that. So, let's download Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. It's a little better. And you click download. Wait for it to download. You don't need no other application to download it. Safari automatically downloads it. Open an iFile. It switches to iFile. And now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Now do it do as I do, guys and later and you don't click none of these you click edit you copy that click cut click done click mobile then you create another fo folder in applications and you make it called ROMs once you download ROMs well not download but make a folder called ROMs which is all my ROMs here you click edit again you click the little clipboard click paste and then now ultimate Mortal Kombat is there um, you click that button there I cannot never say that you do that and then you have your game and now let's go back to the app let's go back to the to that app you are back in this app and you click on load game and then you go all the way down remember that folder that you created ROMs everything will be right there click on this 
Alright guys, we are back. Thank you for staying on. So now, you have your emulator here and you got these on-screen controls. I know that's, that's suckish, you know? You want to be able to play with physical buttons, right? So, I'm going to show you, you guys on how to do that. Um, is this thing on? We're going to need to open up City again. We're going to need to get an app. It is called Blue Troll. I'm going to give you guys an instruction right about now on City. Now, Blue Troll, you will actually need to pay, I think, $10 in the store. But, I mean, who wants to pay, you know? So, I got the crack version. Totally not recommended getting the crack version. It's always safer to get a legit version. Once again, if you do not want to pay for Blue Troll, Blue Troll, you're going to need to add a source. And that source will be in the description. And trust me, this source is 100% safe. And it is completely clean. So, Blue Troll, you can get it for free like that. So, once you install Blue Troll, you actually got to go into the app. Oops. And then, this is how it would look. Well, it don't look like this. I got games on it already. You click plus. You choose the game. Choose a game that you want to add. Sorry about that. Choose a game that you want to add. And, well, it's already added, guys. So, you can just do that. And then you click. Well, you got the little app. And you will need to take a snapshot for Blue Troll to work. So, you hold the home button. And you hold the sleep button or power button like this. And it takes a snapshot. Then you actually got to go back to Blue Troll. And then you click landscape and you click photo roll that. And sorry for those pictures that you guys just saw, you know, Facebook friends and stuff like that. And then you click on add controller and you can pick any of these controllers. You can play with the IK, the Bluetooth keyboard, the control pad, the Wii remote, a lot of options you guys can pick. But for this video, we actually pick in a PS3 controller. And before you even do that, you would actually need to connect it. I'm going to disconnect it for now. Disconnect it. And then you check, click connect. You push the PS button on your PS3 controller. But before you even do that, forgot to mention, you would need to go to your computer and actually download six pair. Also, that link will be in the description, PC or Mac. It is compatible with both. You're going to need to install that. You will need your USB for your PS3, and you're going to need your iPad connector as well, too. So once you install that or did that, you go back here, and then you click Connect. And then you push your PS button, which I will now. And then you are connected. Now let's go back here. You click landscape, well, you did that, landscape, and then you can actually arrange the buttons. So triangle could be X, and whatever this is could be Y. Basically, I'm just matching the buttons where it corresponds to. So you can have the left stick and the D-pad together. You can make it bigger using two fingers. And you can do this with any app, guys. You can do it with an iOS game, like Nova, Modern Combat, those games are excellent for the control. You can have this to start and select. Once you're done, you click done, obviously, and then you go back to the app, and then you are good to go. you playing with your controller. Now, here's proof that it will work. Right. Now, this is just proof that it will. it is working. Another thing too, the sound is a little bit glitchy. And sometimes the buttons do not really respond at times. Now if this really happens to you guys, you gotta go back to Blue Troll. And see it's moving a little sluggish. Now it, it's just warming up, you know what I'm trying to say guys? It's just warming up. And now if this really happened to you, you gotta go back to Blue Troll. You gotta go back to Blue Troll and then you gotta... Click connect and disconnect, You're basically reconnecting it. If it happens to you guys, you just reconnecting. Sorry, I'm not using display recorder. 
And you go back to the ad was playing. Alright, and now we move in again. Sorry for that. It it does move a little glitchy. It does move a little slow and, and unresponsive at times, but damn, time run out. Oh, I, I guess. I don't know. But it is fully wor working, guys, and stay tuned again. <laughs> stay tuned again. I don't know. I'm, it's not two-player combat, so I don't know how to go back. But stay tuned again. Take stuff. Stay tuned again, and I'm gonna actually show you guys on how to connect it to your TV. You can actually make this iPad as a gaming console. I did make a video about this, like about a month ago or two months ago, and people love that video. I got a lot of likes on it, so I'm gonna show you guys again on how to plug it up to your TV. It's very very simple. If you have this, it will be perfect. You plug this into the end right over there, the 30 pin connector. This end, you connect it to HDMI, and then you go to sources on your TV. And voila, you are working. You are working. And then, boom, you have yourself a gaming console. Now, if you have an Apple TV, it will be even better. It will be even better because you have. Hmm. Now, the reason why the other person is not fighting, because he is not player 2. There's no 2 controllers. Uppercut. Uppercut was always used to be an overpowered thing. And that's pretty much it, guys. Damn. What was that? But that was pretty much it. And I hope you guys really enjoyed. I really did try my best to give you guys clear instructions. If you guys still don't understand it, then the steps will be in the description, and sources will be in the description. All the tweaks and, and apps that you're going to need to for this thing to work. And that's about it, guys. That wraps up the video. Catch you guys on my next video. King Pops out, and have a good day.